Now why got everybody going crazy? Why got everybody losing their minds? Listen. I said certified free. Seven days a week. Wet and gushy. Make that pullout game weak. Chica, Frankie Red from Red Light TV. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome and hello. I encourage you to subscribe so you know when I'm popping on your screen. Let's get in today's juicy hot topic. WAP got everybody losing their minds. Listen, if you have not gotten into WAP, please make sure that you do listen to it, stream it, okay, digest it, watch the video, and I also encourage you, as does Cardi, to listen to the uncut version on one of your streaming platforms because YouTube, YouTube is not the uncut version, okay? That is the rated R, version. the rated Pornhub version, okay? Make sure you guys go get that. We have for many years heard males use our body parts and talk about how much they want us and how we should bend over and how we should give it up and Becky this and we've heard it for so many years. We've heard throughout the lyrics throughout decades of time of how women need to please men. So I do like that Cardi B and Megan made a track for the ladies for us to tell y'all how we want it, okay? I really love the emphasis of me, my needs as a woman. I also really love the emphasis and the ownership of the sexuality. The women look bomb in the video. It was highly, highly sexual outside of the visuals, the actual lyrical content. So we really can't expect nothing less. Okay? Okay. I do think that it could have had a little bit more creativity when it came to the essence of sexuality. I do think it was a little bit on edge and racy. Whole lot of pros. Visuals was everything. The song knocks when these clubs open up again is definitely gonna be a banger. Overall, I think Cardi did a great job ensuring that all cultures were represented and that anyone that had any negative feedback or backlash when it came to Kylie, I do love that she already had a plan in place to advocate for why and how her involvement came about. So shout out to Cardi for that. And I love the unity and I'm glad I'm here for it. I need this a little bit more. Really, really love that she put a great emphasis on female collaboration and diversity. Now let's get into this controversy. Now, there's been a lot of talk about WAP from multiple angles. CeeLo got something to say, bloggers, media, headlines. I mean, whoo, a lot of the talk is, is WAP too vulgar for the culture? And I wanna know, do we truly think this? I don't think we truly think this. I don't think that the biggest level of controversy and attention should be paid to and pinned to exactly what the content is about. We have seen and heard crazier, more raunchy lyrics from Little Kim, from Trina, from Foxy Brown. We know that these lyrics and this content is out there. If you even wanna date it back and go further, Lucille Bogan, okay? Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about, all right? You can have my cock. Those are some real crazy lyrics, okay? But it's not so much what the lyrical content and the lyrical value is, but is it more so about the accessibility? And I think that has to be where we kind of focus and shift our conversation to, is we shouldn't really be having the conversations of, this is too raunchy for society, because we've already seen it, we've already heard it, we've already had it. Okay. Two Live Crew paved the way for ranch content to be something that is acceptable and mass spread. Parental advisory came about from these types of lyrics. So it's not that I'm here for the cancellation of the sex culture music. No, 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 no. However, what is it about the sex that is selling that doesn't allow for female mainstream hip hop to have a range of artists? Artists like Tierra Whack, Rap City, no name. These artists are actually out here preaching and talking that Tardy B did an interview with Beats One and shed light on some of these artists, even Chica. But the issue isn't so much that we're not going out there looking for it. We know about these artists, but then when we look back at what's in mainstream and what's playing on the radio, we no longer have that ring. I remember when there was a time where I could turn on the radio and I might hear the clean version of Kaya looking now, looking good. But as soon as that song is over, I'm also hearing something by Missy Elliott. Then when that's over, I'm hearing some different content value from E. It's not like today, whereas if I turn on the radio, I'm hearing Jobs by City Girls. I keep it gushy, followed with Doja Cat, 
And then right after that, I'm listening to WAP. Three songs all by three women talking about the same thing. My issue is not the content. The sexual content, I'm here for it. Let it live on. My issue is the lack of versatility and the lack of diversity. And I think if we shift our conversation in that direction and talk about those negative impacts and elements, we get to a greater message. We're not bashing Cardi B. We're not bashing Megan. And we certainly are not bashing WAP. However, we should be talking about the accessibility and how readily available it is, not only to our youth, because everybody always want to go to the youth and talk about what an example it is for women. And I'm one of those people that say, well, your parents should be raising. But we already know how that goes. Teenagers will get access to it whether or not we like it. But the impacts that it even has on adults and young women, this is what's detrimental. And I believe this is what's unhealthy for society. It's us creating this social norm around sex culture. And it's not to alienate and it's also not to demonize sex workers and people of this field of practice because we're all humans we all deserve respect we all deserve love however on the same token we have to understand where to put morals and values and how to properly represent women empowerment when it comes to these issues and things it's not to say don't have sexual liberation but it's also not to say well let's just objectify ourselves and sexually exploit ourselves which i feel like is more of the direction of which the music industry is going it's not so much the artists that are the issue because these artists are entitled to their individuality and cardi b has even said it those artists are out there there is an artist out there for that conscious positive uplifting music but what is the problem mainstream budgets ain't hitting them okay they are definitely not being advertised and pushed like these other more hypersexualized artists with hypersexual content it's the truth we're here for we're here for the ratchet we're here for the mess but we cannot hide and shy away from the realities of some of the impacts that this music has on our culture. A lot of people want to talk about cultural misappropriation when it comes to race and it comes to ethnicity. However, this is another example of cultural misappropriation. We are misappropriating what sex work and sex culture is and normalizing it so it's a standard and social norm and no longer taboo. And something about that just doesn't seem that it's all the way there and okay. We shouldn't be looking for idols and role models in celebrities, but the reality is that celebrities do impact and do directly influence the culture whether we want to admit it or not but I'm not gonna be here for the cancellation of WAP there's definitely pros and there are definitely cons I definitely love and appreciate Cardi B for creating this sense of collaboration creating this sense of unity amongst women and I also appreciate her scope of versatility and diversity in women in her visuals I also really appreciate the sexual liberation that her and Megan Thee Stallion have created for this climate of our culture it's time for women to take back these words and lyrics and for us to wrap that about ourselves like I said men have been doing it for years but the difference is between how we are presenting this and what our greater message is now, some of the cons of this happen just more to be of how readily available this kind of content is not only to our younger generation but to the masses in general we are pushing a narrative of sex culture we are normalizing sex culture and we're really creating this narrative that there is a hot commodity in our body parts in which we're expecting people not to look at us or objectify us but yet we're objectifying and exploiting ourselves as much as i am with the expression and liberation of sexual content i am not for the exploitation and the free liberty of saying that this kind of thing is cool I want to know your thoughts on the WAP video. It's a whole lot of controversy. A lot of people were talking about it. It's all over the media. And I couldn't wait to put this video together to really bring all of the points in one. Because it's not just one side. We're not going to bash Cardi because we already know what to expect with her kind of content. But what we're also not going to do is ignore the level of toxicity that it's also accompanied with. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your favorite chica, Frankie Red from Red Light TV. Yeah, you dealing with some wet and gushy Bring a bucket and a mop with the sweat and gushy Give me everything you got